The thing that has worked for me is to remember the hard times. And I just remind myself, I was evicted when I was 14. We were kicked off the island, we couldn't live in Hawaii, had no place to live. I would remember that, and it allows me then to be present in the moment and understand, holy shit, this, the stuff I have around me right now, this is the shit that I dreamed of when I was a kid. I am here. He would get up at usually 5, 5.30 in the morning, and he would say, if I get up, you're gonna get up too. Yes. <laughs> And I, would just, I wouldn't work out, but he would just make sure that I was there and be with him. And that was our time that we could spend together. My dad always said to that <clears throat> regardless of what you do in life and where you go, respect is going to be given when it's earned and you have to go out and earn it every single day. That has worked for me is to remember the hard times. I was evicted when I was 14. We were kicked off the island. We couldn't live in Hawaii. Had no place to live. My mom and I came home, and I'll never forget, the rent was $180 a week. And there was an eviction notice on the, um, on the door. And it was, this was the one, it was the final eviction notice. My mom started crying me because I felt like, I never want to be in this position again. What can I do? Try and find a way to be grateful for every single thing I have, every single day. Wins, losses, loved ones, you name it. My life wasn't always this way. It was much different many moons ago. So these days I'm grateful to the bone for everything. The other thing is hunger. Uh, you always hear people say, well, it's about being number one, about being at the top. Or how about this? Um, you're always gonna find somebody out there who's gonna work harder. Well, I don't know that, that might be bullshit, but I know no one is gonna be hungrier than I am. It's one thing to be hungry, it's another thing when you're starving for greatness and starving for success. And I love that because it immediately clicked, it's in my DNA, I know what it's like to operate every single day, regardless of the success that I've been a lucky son of a bitch to achieve, I operate every day as if I'm starving. If you're going through some hard times, you gotta hold on to that fundamental quality of faith and hard work, because on the other side of those hard times is something better.